Hello there, this is MKSC Master, and we are back for the final part of my tutorial videos on how to use the Super Mario Kart Editor Make. Now, we finally finished designing our track, so what we're going to be doing after that is we're going to have to tell the AI where we want it to go. Without that, um, the AI is just going to basically drive into walls and look really stupid. So, basically what we want to do now is we want to press F3. That's going to bring us to our editing for zones. The very first option we are in is called placement. You have to do everything right in placement for everything else that I'm going to show you to work. In order to use placement, you are going to hold down control and you are going to click and drag until you make a box. Now, you're going to want this box to be either the very first box to be either on the finish line or directly in front of it on the finish line probably works best so just try and place your finish line in an area like that um, you're gonna wanna have a certain amount of boxes um, depending on how accurate you want your AI to be but that's really up for you to decide you can change the size of the boxes by right clicking on it and just moving the mouse, mouse around as you already see me doing here now I'm gonna place some AI boxes very quickly just to give you a general idea of how it works Now, as a note, these all have to be placed in order. As you can see, I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Now, they have to be placed in order for this to work properly. If you do not do that, then everything that you do from here on is going to be messed up. These boxes will actually be the things that show what your actual placement is on the map. If, um, for example, I'd place these in the wrong order and I'd place this one before the finish line, when I got to this area right here, um, it would say I'm actually in first place even if I was a lap behind um, the actual, like the AI or something like that. So it's very important to place them properly. Okay, so now I've finished placing all of my boxes, as you can see. This is my placement. Now that I've finished my placement, I need to move on to the destination points. This looks scary as hell the first time you see it, but it's really not as bad as it looks. All you're going to do from here, just zoom in, and you're going to basically place these placements so that they follow the track. It's really that simple. Okay, so now I've finished placing my points. There is one thing you won't actually um, be seeing unless you make a track with a figure eight style thing where you have a part where you jump over another part of the track. But I'll show you how it works really quickly just in case you have a situation like that. If you right click on these boxes, you'll see a bunch of twos. Now you can move these either up or down. Three is the highest speed the AI can go. Two is what it normally drives in the original game. Everything else is something you use for very sharp turns that the AI would otherwise go into the dirt or off the edge for. For a track like this, we can set them all to three.
And again, you can do that just by right-clicking on the boxes and dragging either up or down. Okay, so now all my boxes are set to 3. Now, as I was mentioning before, because I'm pretty much finished here, um, if you have a track where you have one part of the track going over the other, I'll just make a really quick example to show you. Okay, so let's say that this was our track. We have our walls and everything like that set up, and this is essentially where you have the jump over when you go from this area here down to there. Now, when you're setting your zones, there is going to be a zone between here. This zone needs to be set with a special um, value. I will show you how to set that right now. So back to my zones. Um, as you can see, I'm in the destination point um, option in zones again. Let's pretend this is this orange box here is the one that's in between the jump. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on that and we're going to press F. Now do you see how that went to 83? That 83 will prevent that zone from affecting any of the artificial intelligence that's in the air. You really need to use that or else the artificial intelligence will not follow the path you want it to. The one that is going sorry the one that is in front and past the jump those can be set normally it's just the one that's in the middle of the jump that needs to be set with the 83 value or the 82 value. Okay, so now that we've finished um, designing our AI, we know it's probably going to work. You can test it when you've actually finished making the um, track and everything like that. What you're going to do from here is now you're going to place your actual behavior things, like your objects. So I want to place some pipes on this level. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag four pipes to this corner. Now, remember what I said from the first video, that you can only have four in one area. You cannot have more than four. So once I place four there, I'm going to press space again. I'm going to go to the visibility section of the objects. Now, the first FF here is the one that affects the first pipes. So we're going to change that so that these, the original placements, you'll be able to see it. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to place those pipes a little bit ahead um, just to show you what I mean. Okay, now these pipes here will only be seen when you're in this red area here, when you're looking forward. If you look backwards, you have to set these ones here. So basically, you're going to see those pipes as long as you're looking back and you're in this red zone here. Now let's go ahead and set one more set of pipes really quick. You can either do it by dragging or holding down control and clicking. Either one works. So we have our fourth set of, or our second set of pipes there. So now we're going to go back to visibility, and we're going to click on the second option here, and we're going to keep on clicking that until that yellow arrow or yellow area covers all these pipes. So now, whenever you're looking from this point here, anything in the yellow, you will be able to see those pipes. These four will disappear. Again, if you want to see them in the back the way that you'll set that is so that this has to be ahead of them. So basically if you're in anywhere here you'll be able to see it in the back um, rear view mirror that you can see when you're playing single player. So basically, that's it. You've finished designing your track. You don't need to do anything more. This behavior, you don't want to change because, again, I, as I mentioned in the first video, 
um, that can glitch up the actual objects and they won't work properly. Last thing I will recommend because I didn't actually fix it throughout this entire video is if you have an area in the middle like this, you want it to be an out of bounds area. So you're going to select the out of bound tile and you're going to fill it up with the out of bound area here. Because basically out of bounds areas, um, if you don't have them and somebody manages to get into that area, they're going to be stuck and they're not going to be enjoying the game. This concludes the tutorial.